So here's Rocky. Uh, Rocky is a precious angel and I love him. Hello everyone, my name is Grayson and welcome to the start of a new playthrough of Gordian Quest. My last two were pretty fun and pretty successful, so I'm going to come back to it and start another run. But this time, rather than pick my own characters, I'm going to have a guest, Annie, who helped me build Gertie Badger from my Age of Wonders Planetfall uh, campaign. Uh, Annie is back to build my team for this one. Hello. So we're going to go on into play game. We're going to do another realm mode, just a quick run. It says half an hour to three hours, but you know, it's going to take me like five hours. So new game. So there's only three rules. Annie can pick whatever character she wants, whatever build she wants, as long as she does not pick the same three characters I just used, which is Ida, Neron, and Pierre. So that's one thing she cannot do. The other thing she cannot do is pick three summoners because I don't want to have my board completely full and be unable to like move around. So we can't do Ida, Bertram, and Jendaya. So those are the only two sets of three she cannot choose. Other than that, she can pick any characters and then pick any of the starting decks that she would like to pick at all. So I'm going to turn it over to Annie. Okay, so... Definitely picking this person. She's amazing. Jendaya. Rock. Sorcerer. Okay. So, Golemancer. Oh, Golemancer or Golemaster. Oh, this looks like it's tanking. Well. Yeah, it does. And the colors of the cards um, correspond to strength decks and int. Uh, red, green, and blue so that does sort of sometimes that can give you a little bit of an idea of what they're doing but you know pierre has a defensive build you know so it's with intelligence so it's it doesn't tell you fully but it is interesting to see so we went with earth mage so wait i'm sorry can we go back and look at that what was the what was the theme here i uh well i'm just picking that for now it looks like it might be more dps okay yeah it's got um, rocky's her golem she she brings into battle and so it looks like she commands them to punch things yep. yeah so i'm just gonna pick that for now and then if i end up needing a tank i'll go back to her um i'm i'm choosing purely based on what they look like so um yeah it's gotta get it's gotta be naren uh, she is a bard, okay. Uh, bard, troubadour, minstrel, sonneteer. Oh, this looks like also DPS. Oh, she's got some ice damage in there. That's interesting. Okay, we're gonna go with that one. So we've got our we've got our two out of three DPS. Now. <laughs> uh, and then for the third person, I think I like this bad boy. Oh, he's a scoundrel. I see you're drawn to another DPS. This, uh, this uh -huh. is going to be interesting. <laughs> well, um, do you need a healer when you play this game? I don't need a healer. He doesn't need a healer. Okay, Scoundrel, Headhunter, Saboteur, Rogue. Um, I like the word Saboteur, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll go back to Jendaya and um, do her tanking deck. Is this more tanking? Maybe not. That one looks like a bit of a hybrid. A lot of times they have sort of a, um, a mixed build deck. Mm -hmm. Are any of these? Oh. Artificer looks like it's an int build. Okay, no, no, it's got it's got everything in it. So they're all, they all <laughs> have. Well, at least she has some tanking. This is the this character is the most of a mystery to me. I've never used oh, her, cool. and her cards are. She was the most recent character to come out, and she's looks a little bit more complicated. I love her visual design. I love her haircut. I love the strings coming from her hands. Like she's a puppet master. She's really really cool. I can't wait to see you play her. So I've got a complexity three. A complexity three and a complexity two. Oh, they're all okay. The first. Oops. Anyway, this is what I've chosen. Okay. So. Good luck. 
All right, thank you so much for uh, the the build here. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a tanky front line and then a fair amount of ranged squishy DPS. Hopefully they can keep themselves alive. So yeah, but look how cool they look. No, they do look cool. We've got the bad boy and then uh, two cool looking cool looking ladies here. So yep. uh, we'll take a look at our renown and see if there's anything we want to unlock with that. Pick our artifacts and whatnot, and then we will get going. So thank you, Annie, for helping me choose my team. We will see how far I can get with this. I don't know if I have any heals available through like the minstrel. Uh, possibly the golem answer. I know I'm almost positive that Alphonse doesn't have any healing available. So we'll see what happens. We might have to do the old fashioned camping to heal rather than in combat healing, which will just make things a little bit more difficult, but we can do it. So thank you again for helping out. And I look forward to playing this and uh, getting this uh, out so that you can take a look at how your team does. Yay. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, everybody, we're back with our team comp all set up and ready to go. So we have Jendaya as the Golemancer, Naran as the Sonneteer, and Alphonse as the Saboteur. Now, my last playthrough, I did use Naran, but as the tank build. So this one's got, like, ice damage and stuff like that in it. And again, she's a little bit unknown to me. I've only used her that one time. Alphonse I don't use a lot either, but uh, Annie did choose the Saboteur deck, so that's the one I am familiar with with the traps, which I do find really fun. Now, Jendaya I have never used ever, so I don't know what how Rocky the Golem plays and that kind of thing, so I'm going to be kind of figuring this out as we go along with you guys who are watching. Um, I should also mention that this won't be an episode zero because we are going to do some gameplay but it probably will be a bit slow because I am going to have to learn specifically Jendaya. I'm going to have to, all of her cards I'll never have seen before. Naran, I'll probably have seen some of them, but she's going to be playing very differently from what I'm familiar with. So just be, be aware that this will be a bit of a slow one. And so if you want to jump into the gameplay now that our team is set up, you might want to skip to episode two, but I will probably be doing some fighting this one. So let's just double check our artifacts here. So let's take these all out. We have three slots. We can purchase a new one with a thousand. So I think that's what I'll save up for. So we have, let's see what we have. It's been a while since I've, since I've unlocked a new one. Um, I think I'd rather save up for the new slot. If we look through these and we just have absolute crap, then we'll, um, we'll, we'll unlock a new one and try to get something new. So here we have items sell for more to vendors you meet outside of town. Well, that's always what we're going to get and uh, it can be upgraded later on to increase the party's gold find, which we don't have yet. I think that's, um, yeah, enhance, it costs 600 to enhance, we're not gonna do that. Increase Ida's base stats. Alphonse gains one intelligence. Well, that's not terrible. Um, it's just a free stat point that we, uh, oh my God, why is this so hard to select? Okay, there we go. Uh, so let's pop that one in there for just a moment. Jendaya gains one intelligence, sure. And we have rolling sockets, no thanks. Catherine, uh, no. Gain one fate upon completing a deadly encounter. Hmm. Rolling a 20 on the die gives in an event challenge grants one fate. Salvaging rare items produces an additional rare crystal. Heroes have plus one fire resistance. They take 5% less damage from fire. I think we'll go with this four leaf clover. So we've got a little bit Higher, we've, we're going to get a little bit more fate points, and we get one free point of stats on Alphonse and Jendaya. So even if they don't use these stats, they're not really ever wasted because you could always have a card that uses that stat as a requirement, like a piece of equipment. You could always have a card, like a lot of times even their very focused builds will start with two and sometimes three different types of stats in there. So I don't think those will be wasted, and none of these other ones really screamed at me. So let's go ahead and grab those ones. I don't know how well I'm going to do in this one because I haven't played, you know, with this very much. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we are going to play on... Uh, do, 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 should we play on hard or nightmare? 5% increased... So that's only 5% increased item rarity. Um, let's do nightmare, right? Like, it's fine if I die. It's whatever. Okay, so we have our first three choices for our Maelstrom Gate options here. So we have the Forbidden Valley. We've got a very long one here, but it's worth a lot more of the Renown, which is not very much at this point. Party has minus four Chaos Resist. Party loses two supplies when entering the realm. That's not so bad. We're just going to have our full amount. Area contains Quicksand. I hate Quicksand. Enemies are one level higher. Nodes have a chance of Chilling Ground. No Forges. I don't like that. 
Chilling ground, no safe passages, no campsites. Okay, that's the, that's terrible. Let's go with Forbidden Valley. All right, so we are at the beginning here. We have, you know, very low health. This is uh, very strange to see how low the health is here. I think I'll wait to start looking at the cards until they actually show up in combat. Um, just so I don't have to spend all that time looking at them right now. We can actually get going with a fight. Let's take a look at our directions we have. We have one of those little expedition map things here that are kind of fun explorations. We have... Let's look for curses. I really don't want curses. We are a nightmare, after all. So we've got curses down this way. Um, so I, I'm probably looking at going... You know, this way gets us a blessing. And then we've got a safe passage here. Removes to exhaustion. Party gains five supplies. So this is going to cost one supply, consume two supplies, consume three supplies. Yeah. Oh, is this showing the total supplies it takes to get all the way down here? It is. It is. It's not showing me. Yeah, that's consume 13 supplies. Okay. Yeah. That's cool that they do that. If you click on, say, the boss and it shows you the route that would take that many supplies. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. So this will take one, two, three supplies. So we'll actually be missing five. So we could go this way and just top ourselves off. Uh, we've got a forge, some harder battles, a fate. We would get a curse. We can make sure to use that up here, get another fate. This probably doesn't cross. Yeah, this is crossed. Okay, okay. Um, sorry if that didn't make any sense. Let's go this way. Here we've got a very, very basic encounter here, which is fine with me. Because I need to know how to play Jendaya. Alright, so let's roll initiative. Get in there. So we are all faster. So here's Rocky. Uh, Rocky is a precious angel and I love him. Uh, can we see Rocky's stats? I mean, he's got minus 20%. What's that? Chaos? And that's it. Everybody has that. Is that from the... Uh, is that from the event, I'm guessing? Uh, where's your where's your stats? Here it is. This is chaos resist. So everybody's got minus minus a bit on that right now. Okay. So here we have what what do we have here? Not enough SP. Right, right. Rocky draws two. Rocky and you gain two critical for every strength card drawn, and two guard for every dex card drawn. Okay. Uh, so this one's going to attack down here. This one's going to strike Rocky and this one's also going to strike Rocky. So let's, I don't know if she's supposed to be like in the middle or where she should be. So let's go ahead and draw cohesion. Oh, it's Alphonse's turn. My bad. My bad. So we have here, no one's going to hit Alphonse. So he's free to just do DPS. We've got Caltrips. Shift target to a random adjacent cell. Now that's dangerous because we could be putting extra damage on somebody but we can also do that a little easier at the start so let's put caltrips here in the front and also here and then let's bowl a shot this one okay it didn't go into one of those unfortunately so we can swift strike draw one card limited okay we're still safe so let's end turn. I've got Naran. Now Naran again has a new deck for me. I've not seen this one before. So both of these are gonna hit Rocky. So we have Verse of Evocation. Deal four ice damage. Gain one inspiration, which we know about that for chorus cards. And plus, and if she has the song, what is this song? What is this melody? B blue, whatever, the blue melody. If she's got the blue melody on, she does an extra bit of damage. Here it is. Draw one card, remove tones, add glamour. Glamour is the thing we're doing. So we were using tempo with her tank build, and now we're using glamour with her damage build. Okay, so let's add that. So now she's got, oh, I love the sound of that. It reminds me of how powerful she was. Glamour, so now we have blue tones active, so we can do extra damage. Are these guys weak to, no, they don't, they're not weak to um, ice. I don't know if I should be finishing one of these off. Probably this guy could step into the trap, but this guy can't. Okay, so let's end turn there. 
So here we have cohesion. So does Rocky have a hand of cards? Oh my god, he has his own hand of cards. Do I choose what he does or does he even take his own turns? I, d I don't know yet. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and block and deflect because that's all we can really do. And turn. Oh, I do command Rocky. Okay. Oh no, I gotta learn two decks of cards now. Does his, um, does he have a deck on here? He does. So he's got the special little symbol here. So here's Jendaya's deck stopping down here. And then here's Rocky's deck. Oh no, <laughs> it's complicated. All right, let's go into the battle here. So if we're going to get hit by a fair amount of damage here, 15. So we're going to need some block. We have two. We can also kill one of these and then guard all the way. Yeah, yeah, So if we deal 20 damage accurate. So we have enough block for this, this guy here. So now we just punch that guy out. Oh, Rocky's cool. I can't hit him unless I scoot over. All right, fun. Okay, so that's completely guarded. Completely guarded. Excellent. So Rocky's kind of a bruiser. He seems like he's got pretty good health and he does pretty good damage too. He's just kind of just a just big beefer. Shift one to target, apply vulnerable. I gotta be over further. Um, so you go over here and now you're vulnerable. No, you must have had, I, uh, why doesn't he have vulnerable? Maybe he had guard or something that blocked it. So it's gonna hit for eight. Jendaya has create a rock. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 adjacent allies draw one. So, so, so it might be the case that we want uh, Jendaya to be a lot faster. So I don't know what her initiative is base. Let's take a look at that. Her initiative is 13, 13, 15. So we, it may be the case that we want Jendaya to be really fast, especially if she's got all these cards that let her draw cards, let allies draw cards. So we will we'll watch out for that as we build. What is this? What's this animation here? I don't think feel like I've ever seen this before. Is that from moving him over here from speed down? I don't know. I don't know. Deal four damage to all enemies. Um, target ally gains one channel. Gain one inspiration. Choose a card in your hand and place it on top of your discard pile. Well, we don't use channel. So this might be a card we take out of our deck. Target, uh, gain one, target, gain one channel, gain one inspiration. Well, I guess we could do it because we get the, um, the whatever. Put this on top of the deck. And we'll just play a guard. This is Jendaya. Deal four damage. Rocky follows up with five damage if in the same row as you. Oh, he's way over there. Stone bullet. Wait, do they draw a card for next turn? Yeah, maybe they do. We'll see if they keep those. Stone bullet, three damage, apply vulnerable. I may need to get, this is eight damage. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hit here unless I have Rocky move over and guard, which I might have to do here. But I guess that means Zendaya, uh, Zendaya can do, Jendaya, Zendaya, the actress can do, uh, we can do the damage with her. Create a rock, or I could put a rock in front of this guy. That's really funny. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Just summon a rock in front of the skeleton. Okay. I'm enjoying this so far. So, so now he's gonna hit this rock. So Rocky pulverized, deal 11 damage. If target is a rock, destroy it and deal eight damage to the unit behind it. Oh. Interesting. That's really interesting. Let's 
let's get over here. He's got his own SP meter too. Wow, so it's just an extra character. That's a lot of guard. Bit annoying. So we need we we don't have any more traps. So let's um Oh, oh, that was oops, I did the wrong thing here. I want to put you here. Kill him off and then this guy is actually he is going to bypass the rock. Strangely enough. Oh, there we go. Just got him nice up in the front where we can beat him up. Uh, for every inspiration, allies gain one channel. Okay, that's not really helpful. Um, we don't have channeled spells. Not that we can't necessarily find them. And in fact, maybe she can. There, play music at him until he dies. Perfect. Sleep tight. It's a weird... All right, so we got friendship points, experience. Everybody got a very similar amount of experience. And we got some stuff. We got three renown, a little bit of gold, small stamina vial. That's pretty good. That might be something we plop onto Jendaya because um, she may need to... I don't know if that impacts Rocky. I don't know. We have no items here and no items here. Okay, well, so we need to find some potions or something. Uh, okay, so let's, we don't have any any channel spells yet. So do we wanna, do we, are we allowed? Yeah, we are allowed to take a card out. So this gives everybody channel, which we don't need. And is one of those um, ones that uses SP. So let's take that out. And this one, at least this one lets you put something back on top of your deck. Yeah, this is, we're going to have to do some, some editing with her. All right, so let's move down to this event. You're now at a challenge. Yes, we know about that. Uh, one is always a failure. 20 is always a success. Your travel is uneventful for the most part, but as you approach a small winding canyon, you notice your surroundings grow increasingly quiet. Uh, and we can spend cards to, oh my god, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons here. So we can spend cards to increase our chance of success. So we get a plus one, a plus one, and a plus two. Uh, success, we clear the challenge either way, but I'm guessing a failure would, you know, maybe we get hit by some rocks or goblins attack us or something like that. So do we just go with it? We have a decent... I mean, it's not a great chance for everybody to succeed. We can also plop skills in there, but it adds exhaustion. This would add plus 11. Is there anything we want to plop in there? What about something like this one that gives out... Here we go. Let's plop that one in. Okay, definite, definite success, but she got an exhaustion. Uh, okay, good. So we only had one person had to do that. Narong gained 220 experience. You spot figures moving through the tree line up above. Their silhouettes make them out to be bandits. I don't know how you know that. They are likely preparing an ambush up ahead. If not for you, then some other unfortunate traveler who may not have been as observant. We could deal with them or avoid them. Let's deal with them. Naron approves. Naron and Jendaya get 60 friendship points as you head around from the back attempting to get the drop on them. Their attention is fully focused on the road and they don't notice you until you are right up in their midst. The advantage is yours. So now we get a combat. Maybe they skip the first turn or something. That'd be cool. That's a large man. Okay, no, but it looks like they got, we got a heavy initiative bonus over them. So we were definitely gonna go first. Uh, there's actually a fair few of them and they're gonna hit reasonably hard. We have Rocky and the 70 health on this guy. Demented brute. Is he, he's like smoking. Is it because we're on nightmare? Look at that. Yeah, this night, this nightmare is difficult. Okay. So we have, he's gonna do 10 damage to those two, seven damage. So Rocky, do you have defensive cards? You have lots of defensive cards, perfect. So let's plap, pl plap some caltrips down here. And then we want to shift 
Who else has defensive cards? You have defensive cards. You're probably going to move to here and make everybody draw a card. And then, so, so we want to... Yeah, and then you'll hit her, so then she has to guard. Sorry, I'm trying to think, what if I move her here, am I going to put her in danger? Which is, the answer is yes, we'll have to move her back. So let's lure that guy up there. Bola shot that guy. Okay, so now we have... Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Get him up in the front because he's got all this vulnerability. I don't want to take advantage of that. And then we'll end his turn. So let's go to let's go to let's let's use a shift. And then inventive solution. So everybody drew a card, which is awesome. And then we've got a stone bullet. Applies damage and some vulnerability. Might as well use that here. This guy's um got a, taking a lot of damage this turn. Create a rock. And then do you have defense? You do. And then let's go back to here. Oh, he's going to strike. He's not going to hit the rock. Oops. Okay. Rocky needs to guard a little bit here. Let's get a punch. Guard. And another guard. More important to not take damage. I don't know if Rocky heals up in between combats, like... Players don't. You have to you have to actually rest to get your health back up if you don't have healing. I don't know if Rocky does. I mean, imagine he's kind of like a, a regular character and that he needs to rest in order to do that, but I, I don't know. Here's a Pulverize. That costs the SP. Might as well use it. It's temporary. I'm going to kill him off next turn if he doesn't have too much guard. Now, Naran is going to get hit by 14 damage. Oh, here's damage to everyone. If I move to here, now they're both going to hit Rocky, but that's better than them hitting, yeah, this guy will hit the rock. That's fine. Probably that guy. <laughs> what would happen if Rocky dies? Let's just not find out. This guy can't reach anybody. Awesome. So we got to make sure we don't move him. Trap one cell applies one pull and 18 vulnerable. So let's plop caltrips there and a tripwire there. So if anybody moves to this location at the end of the turn, they'll move up there. <laughs> He's gonna steel hook pull. Oh no, pull the target to the front row and apply five vulnerable. Now hopefully that pulls them here, not here, because then he would hit them. I actually am not positive on how that works. One, two, punch. Deal four damage. Rocky follows up with five if in the same row as you, which we don't seem to end up doing. Uh, gain six guard. Rocky gains six guard if you're directly behind him. I don't have a way to do that. I got to start thinking about that. This is not a great turn. I'm gonna scoot her up to here, and she's gonna take this hit. That way, it's less likely that some, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if somebody will get pulled there or not. A Rocky. Uh, I could also swap with her, but then I have to swap back. So maybe it's better to just do a couple of punches here. This is not helpful. Yeah. 
Okay, good. She didn't go. They didn't pull into the lane he was in. <laughs> okay, pulling her back into position. That's fine. We're going to get her behind Rocky, I think, this turn. All right, that guy walked into the, the trap. Trap one cell applies one pull and vulnerable. So let's do the same thing. Let's put the tripwire there. And then we will just deflect. Jendaya here. Rocky draws two. Restore health. They're bandaging themselves up. They're gonna target this big guy. So let's just let's just punch him down. So he doesn't get a turn. This would do 12 total damage. Oh, because he's resistant to physical. So let's Rocky uppercut him. Just take him out. And then there's no need to use up our SP because it carries over. Let's do some damage there and then we, we'll, we'll get him next turn. Oh, here we go. There are no healing for that guy. So he's going to heal himself now, which is fine. Always use up your extra defensive cards if you need to because you get SP for it. Okay, so we have uh, Caltrops. So if we if we scoot over to here and then lure this guy to here, <laughs> he dies. <laughs> I forgot how fun that is. Hell yeah. Okay, we got a bunch of friendship points for some reason. Level two on Neuron. 14 gold, that's a pittance. Gained a skill point, yes, I know how to play, thank you. So we've got a blessing coming up here. Let's go in here and look for level ups. So skill grid. We have boring stuff at the beginning here, stat points. Here's a tier one talent. We probably wanna go for that first. So let's head there. You are an intelligence character. Add stat, there we go. Awesome, okay, and we are actually all out of time for this episode, um, so I wanna thank everybody so much for watching. I hope that you're going to enjoy this. Everybody seems to really quite like my Gordian Quest playthroughs, and I'm really glad because I think this is an absolutely fantastic game. It's got a really fun campaign mode. I know some of you has, have asked me about that, but the reason I'm doing the Ascension modes is because it's kind of like a nice little bite of the game that I can just replay with different characters and different builds. The campaign, very fun. I played a lot of it. It was a while back before they had added some of the acts that are in it now, but it was super fun. Uh, but I did find it kind of easy, so I'm kind of excited to be able to do these Ascension runs on increasing difficulties until I get my butt kicked. So um, I think that sounds really, really fun. And if you want to see, you know, a particular group of characters or something like that, you know, just let me know in the comments. Let me know who you want to see for the next one I do. I'm sure I'll do another one of these, you know, a little while after this current one ends. So thank you again, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you in episode two.